Well, here it is. The video that set Twitter ablaze on Sunday. Three seconds, and it caught the attention of golf fans everywhere. Tiger Woods posting one swing on the range. First time we've seen him hitting a golf ball since his car accident back in February. Could be the most watched swing of 2021. So now everyone has seen the Tiger Woods swing video, including the odds makers. With that, we welcome in senior editor of Points Bet, Teddy Greenstein. Teddy, how has that one tweet affected Tiger Woods' odds and futures entering 2022? Well, George, isn't it nice when someone is trending on Twitter for a good thing? And this was obviously a very good thing. More than 7 million views for the video. And the first reply I saw came from Monday Q Info. And the response was, sweet Jesus, he's going to win the Masters this year. So that's certainly what we're all thinking about. Some books opened him at plus 3,500. Points bet started him at plus 4,000. And all the books seem to be moving to 40 to 1. So you've got your John Roms and Dustins and Jordans at the top. And there is the first notable Tiger Woods at 40 to 1. Now, he's in some good company. Company. Webb Simpson, Will Zalatoris, Daniel Berger, Scotty Scheffler, and Louis Oosthuizen, all also 40 to 1. So I asked our traders this morning, are we taking a lot of action on this bet? And they said no. And that makes sense. One, because it's so far away. And two, because I think there's so many great golfers that people want to bet on. Now, in terms of our offering to win a major in 2022, we've got Tiger there at plus 2,000. So 20 to 1. And look, if you have, let's say, only 50 bucks and you were deciding, should I bet on Tiger to win the Masters or a major? There's a plus on each side that I was thinking about. The plus in terms of the Masters is course knowledge. I believe when Tiger tees up at Augusta National, he's a half shot better than the field on every round. And we saw that in the final round of 2019. He didn't even have any spectacular highlights managed his game, played the course so intelligently, and hung on for the victory, avoided trouble. But if you want to wait and bet on Tiger just to win any major, the benefit is more time to recuperate. So Southern Hills in May for the PGA, the Country Club in June, and of course then you get the old course in July where Tiger has romped twice. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see just if and when he tees it up again on the PGA Tour, let alone is <laughs> in contention for a major. So we showed you where Tiger Woods stood for the 2022 Masters. Let's look ahead to Augusta in April. For those who like to wager on futures, give us a couple of names to look at, even though we're still a few months away. Of course, John Rahm will be so popular. He's at uh, 10 to 1. But if you're looking for more value, I'm going to be honing in on guys who are right now at plus 1,800 at points bet. Rory McIlroy, Xander Schauffele, and Brooks Kepka. We know that these are three who can absolutely do it, who can absolutely get it done, and certainly more value. Or look at the some of the guys I mentioned who were at 40 to 1. Will Zalatoris, obviously sensational last year. Webb Simpson I was looking at. I feel like he's still in his prime and in his last three Masters tied for fifth tied for 10th and tied for 12th. So you can make a case for so many guys well beyond Tiger. Yeah, you can always make a case. That's for sure. So let's widen our perspective. Uh, how about future odds for a major winner at any of the four tournaments for 2022? Any early numbers that are really catching your eye? Yeah, George, I got burned on this front last year betting on uh, Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, plus 300, I felt like that was a great price there that he was certainly going to win a major in uh, 2021 and obviously it did not happen so looking at our odds obviously look john rom plus one one plus 125 almost even money he's going to go in to 2022 as a favorite maybe to win every single major but here are three i'm looking at colin morikawa plus 375 um patrick cantley let's see if he can have his breakthrough plus 450 and you got to take a flyer on somebody, right? So is Sam Burns, does he, he has the game to win a major. Does he have the patience? Can he handle the pressure on a Sunday? If he can, and you bet him, 12 to 1 plus 1,200. I'm just surprised where Morikawa's at, considering he already has two majors to his credit, has won majors now in consecutive seasons. So something to uh, definitely uh, be aware of into 22. Yes. Finally, uh, we, we love to keep track of bets, especially when we're right. <laughs> Love to forget them when we're wrong. When you look back at 2021, what's the one golf bet that you were most happy to see pull through? Well, George, this is the easiest question I've ever been asked. Now, <laughs> for background, before I explain this bet, 
for the fall masters the previous year, we created a bet at points bet Tiger Woods to make a 10 or worse on any hole at any point during the tournament. And I bet $1. I'm sorry, sports betting wife, $1. And what happened on number 12? He made a 10. So a lot of people were congratulating me. Um, but a lot of people said, how can you only bet $1? That's so terrible. All right. So fast forward to TPC Sawgrass and we create another bet. Will a player make 10 or worse on number 17 on that Island green? And like the tiger bet, it was 150 to one. Very generous by our traders. Sports betting wife this time said, you know what? I'm not going to bet $1 on this. I am going to bet $10 on this. And I will never forget. I was sitting right here. When I started to hear some stuff on Twitter about Ben on struggling, I went on the website, I looked, I saw him at three balls in the water, and then what I thought was his fourth on the green, so I thought I was in trouble. Turns out, I don't think video exists for one of his water balls, but uh, it hit, he made an 11, and that was a $1,500 payday. So, important question, with that payday, where's the sports betting wife taking you on vacation? Uh, let's see, we're going to go to Tahiti and then we're going to go to, uh, St. Thomas. No, I think we probably did something boring. It was, you know, in, something silly, like invested in, into our child's education, something horrible like that. <laughs> Investing in the future, as they say, Teddy is always appreciated. Terrible. Thanks, George.